Hi everyone, welcome back and in this video I wanted to speak on a topic called anger. So that's nothing new for us, something that we experience maybe on a daily basis and as human beings we do get angry and if anyone says that they never get angry then they must be telling you lies because we are human beings and even animals do get angry. So anger is an emotion that all of us experience. So it's something that we come across in our lives on a daily basis when we encounter people, when we are in a particular situation, when we are faced with certain, you know, circumstances. So this is something that we always have. So one thing we need to ask ourselves is, is this anger constructive anger or destructive anger? So let me tell you what constructive and destructive anger is. So constructive anger is something that helps to build up a person, to build up a community or something that whose outcome is for the betterment, okay? The outcome is positive. So that's constructive anger. For example, if you see that there's some injustice being done in front of you and you react to it, you become angry, you want to say something, you want to raise your voice then that's constructive anger because you raise your voice for something that is genuine, okay? You raise your voice for something that needs to be improved. You get angry. For example, parents get angry with children. That's a combination of anger and love. They get angry with children because they want to see the children correct their mistakes. They want to see the children improve eyes on a particular aspect in their life they want to see that the children do not repeat something again they want to see them you know better off they want to see them grow so this is constructive anger so even if you see a mother correcting a child or if you want to really get angry with a friend because they did something wrong and you felt that they shouldn't be doing that and that they are gone in the wrong way or path and stuff like that all that is constructive anger and that is good it's okay to have constructive anger so the second type of anger is destructive anger so destructive anger is something that leads to one's downfall that spoils relationships that spoils the name and character of another person that makes other people sad that makes people fearful that makes people you know um, not want to be around you that makes the entire environment itself really negative so for example a person who has destructive anger they get triggered very easily and they don't know what to do with that anger they just blast out they just use all the type of languages that they can they use indecent words some people when they have anger and they don't know how to control you know constrain their anger and control their anger they they tend to raise their hand they tend to be abusive and anger is the root cause of most of you know the wrongdoings for example when people get really angry and frustrated and they are at their peak people tend to go and you know try to harm another person for example people get angry and they murder people they do things to people they they want to do something that lets down someone because they are so angry okay and I, when, when even in our day-to-day -day lives even if you don't go to that extreme what i said but when you're angry you really don't know what words come out of your mouth it just flows like a river when you're angry and you're not aware of the words you ever use the words that you utter and in the end in that moment of anger when you really blast out at someone you speak you know so much of bad language you put down that person's character and that breaks relationships when i've seen people families okay a father in the family getting ang angry because he's already drunk and he just gets angry because of every little thing and he raises his hands to his wife he abuses his wife he hits his wife children are scared they just don't want to be in that atmosphere they are scared of this anger and all this is destructive anger
So if at all you have constructive or destructive anger, if it's constructive, yes, it's well and good. We need to have constructive anger. But if you feel that you have destructive anger, then try to control this anger. Try to channelize these angers. Don't get triggered easily. If at all you're angry, just stay calm for a few minutes. Just think whether the words that you want to utter is worth uttering at that particular situation. Think about the outcomes of you uttering those words. It's not only you uttering words. Think about the outcomes if you just if you're angry and you want to react in a particular way. Just sit back and think whether it's worthwhile if I react in this way. Think about it and try to control anger because these are the things that happen when we have anger. And people who are really angry and frustrated, they can even go the wrong way. They can join bad company. Things like that can happen. So think about it and I hope that all of us will be able to control our anger and if you really um, have constructive anger, it will be really good and I really wish and hope that you have a great week ahead. Thank you.